In this video, we want to give you a little bit of training about how to stay on topic with your headline. Now, the good news is the way that we write posts, this is actually really simple to do because if you read your headline and then you break it into a few subheadings, aspects of that headline, it's pretty hard to get off topic with the actual body content of your post. The problem is if you get a little off topic when you're writing your subheadings, then you're gonna go way off topic by the time we get to the body cut. That's exactly right. So we have a few examples here. Um, one pretty negative example and um, some really good ones, some really positive examples from things that have been written um, by you guys, by people in the creator studio. Um, but just, we gotta show you this, okay? Here we go. <laughs> Come on. You gotta see this, this high first quality example. production. All right, this is, this was a black team article. Um, we really would have expected something better from the black team. And here's why. This article is all about choosing the ideal RV length for fitting into campgrounds. What is it that the person searching that is looking for? They well, want to know how long of an RV to buy. Exactly. But length is their key question. Mm -hmm. So they have one little section here about length at the beginning and then factors to consider when choosing an RV, they talk about length and then they now go into to height, height and weight and width. and width. And then they go into RV regulations in national parks and campgrounds. Now this could be good because this yes. is length and stuff. Like what percent will, f if you have a 19 foot trailer, you'll fit in this percentage. That's really cool. This is yes. good. But it, they only talked about national parks, not other campgrounds. There are no, there's no data here from state parks. This data was taken entirely from camperreport.com. Um, we know because Jim article. wrote that. Um, I would like to see that in a different format. What if it was a chart that showed like 12 foot, you know, 12 foot length and the bar goes all the way across? Um, 19 foot length, the bar goes 98% of the way across. You know, 25 foot length, the bar goes 93% of the way across and it shows the number, but so the data is there, but it's in a cool way. And what if you incorporated some data about other campgrounds like state parks? Um, really, this doesn't add much value beyond what's already on camper report. So how's this going to outrank it? Right. But we're talking about staying on topic, right, not right. necessarily how it's formatted. So the real problems in this post are here. Now we're just writing about what types of RVs are there. That doesn't have doesn't anything have to do anything with length. Anything to do with lengths, and it's just explaining Cause. what generally a class fact, A, B, C in fact, type this of trailer doesn't even is, have... a travel trailer, what a fifth yeah. wheel is, and then we get to folding campers, which that's that doesn't even it's a, exist. It's a pop up trailer, um, and this doesn't even give me like um, a, a length range. If it had said, you know, fifth wheels on average are between this length and that length, great. Maybe that would be helpful. Yeah. It doesn't even give me that at all. So we're totally off topic from length. Yeah. And then we have questions to ask yourself before buying. And we have some things that are just so far off topic now. Like what's the weather like? It, we've just way lost the topic. Nothing to do with this length. article. Um, and then it's just our top three RV picks. Has nothing to do with lengths, just here's three RVs we like. Um, so this article has completely lost focus. So let's talk about what it could be if it were well focused. So um, you could have um, the ideal RV length for fitting into campgrounds. So your subheadings could be, you know, national park system uh, campgrounds like this. Then another one could be state and local parks and how you're fitting into that. And then you, if we need more content, you could at least have stuff that's at least about the length and fitting into places like, you know, maybe into a storage unit or, you know, maybe you can have a section on get it. You're moving around in the in the mountains and, you know, not, it's not just about fitting in the spot, but also you got to get up, you know, maneuverability through stuff. dirt roads. And so yeah. that those would all be subheadings that are on topic. But here we really only have one that's on topic and then we just lost total focus by the end of this article. There absolutely was very relevant, very closely adjacent content that was ignored and instead we went to random town. Right. Now I want to give you a couple pretty positive examples. This one was written recently. It's still um, a draft, 
but it's on Embora Pets and it's Do Huskies Shed. Um, they give you me a nice answer paragraph, but then they go right into shedding. Um, just in general, how much do they shed? How bad is the shedding? Why do Huskies shed? When do Huskies shed? Um, abnormal shedding. So this is going to let me know if I see something abnormal, what's and in causing that it. section, she has some tips on how to abate the problem yep. if they're shedding a lot. That's great. Everything is is a good tip here. Don't cheap out on food. Shedding. Tips for shedding season. What to do about shedding. I mean, this is a great long post, and you you might not have thought, how am I supposed to ever write two thousand words about huskies shedding? Right. But she's done it, and she's done, done a fantastic very job. Very well done. Another one here I thought was a good a good one. Best age to breed a new beagle. So answers the question, what age is best? And then they explain why. Why do you why should you wait two years? And then they go into understanding the heat cycles of my beagle, That's which is a little bit off of age, but it's totally back onto the breeding of yeah, the beagle. The cycle is about the timing. Right. Um, and then about breeding and mating and about the pregnancy and stuff. Because the person and you know, the person that's looking for this is considering breeding beagles. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's all back to that what's the intent of what the person is searching. Mm -hmm. So that's really all. Um, it's it seems pretty obvious. Okay, stay on point, but you just really have to be careful with it's each subheading when you're trying to get the length and you're moving quickly. It can be pretty easy to suddenly say, okay, what does this have to do with the original topic? And the answer is not really anything. Now that's actually a really big mistake for us because when Google sees an article. It has to determine by the text on the page what it's even about to know what it should show up for in a search. And so if it sees half of the content is about something that it's not quite sure what, then it's going to be too afraid to show it up in a search because it may be wrong. It yeah. may be showing it up in the wrong thing. So keeping laser focus on your original topic through the whole post will help your post to rank much, much better. Thanks everybody for your work.